Have you ever thought that AI could dream? Hallucinate, much like humans. Look at these pictures that have been totally generated by AI. Hello everyone and welcome to this new video on Deep Dream. I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed from Stemplicity. At Stemplicity, we offer premium content on science, tech, engineering, and math. We even teach artificial intelligence and personal finance in a simple, easy, and fun way. We will be releasing new weekly YouTube videos, so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. In this video, we will talk about an amazing AI that could literally dream and hallucinate just like humans. The algorithm is known as Deep Dream. Deep Dream is a computer vision algorithm created by Alexander Mordvinsev from Google. I hope I pronounced it right. The algorithm works by creating dream-like effects. It's like giving humans an extremely powerful drug. Remember when you were a kid looking at the clouds and trying to interpret shapes? Asking yourself if this is a horse, a dog, or even a cat. Deep Dream does the exact same thing, just like humans. Deep Dream algorithm works by giving an AI an image and simply try to boost the patterns it sees in the input image based on what it has been trained to see in the past. So if the artificial neural network has been trained to see animal faces like dog faces in the past, it will try to show dog faces everywhere in the input image as well. So before we jump into the details of Deep Dream algorithm, let's first cover the, cover the basics of artificial neural networks and convolutional neural networks. Artificial neural networks are computing systems that are inspired by the human brain. Artificial neural networks are built using a collection of nodes called artificial neurons that mimic the biological neurons in our brain. The neurons collect signals from input channels, we call them dendrites, process the information in the nucleus, and generate the output in a long, thin branch called the axon. Human learning occurs adaptively by varying the bond strengths between these neurons. An artificial neuron works in exact same fashion as the biological neuron. The neuron process information coming from several inputs, x1, x2, x3, multiply them by several weights, weight 1, weight 2, weight 3, and then generate an output afterwards. A convolutional neural network is a certain type of artificial neural networks that works like magic with images. So in a convolutional neural network, we apply several layers of convolutions and downsampling layers, and then we connect a fully connected artificial neural network at the end. If you feed in an image to a convolutional neural network, the first layers generally detect low-level features such as edges. But if you go deeper in the network, higher-level complex features are then detected, such as faces, trees, cars, and so on. What if you ask a certain layer to improve what it detects in an input image? What if you ask, let's say, the last couple of layers, the deeper ones, that are experts in detecting higher-level complex features, such as dog faces, to increase what they really see. Things get really dreamy and amazing. That's why Google call this algorithm Inceptionism. Here are the steps to run the Deep Dream algorithm. Deep Dream steps works as follows. First, we forward in an image through a trained artificial neural network, convolutional neural, ne neural network, or a ResNet, for example. Step two, we select a layer of choice. First layers capture edges. Deep layers capture full shapes, such as faces. Step three, we calculate the activations or outputs coming out from the layer of interest. We average that out and consider that to be my loss. Please note that in normal cases, we try to minimize the error or the loss using gradient descent. However, D-Dream works a little different. We will perform gradient ascent in this case because we want to increase the loss so we can boost the activations of our networks. So in step four, we are going to calculate the gradient of the activations, which is a loss in this case, with respect to the input image. And step five, we'll perform gradient ascent by modifying the input image to increase the activations and therefore enhance a pattern seen in the network. This will result in a trippy, hallucinated, amazing images. And we'll keep iterating and repeating over multiple scales. Let me show you how Deep Dream works in code. All right, so let's take a look at the Deep Dream algorithm in action. So first, we're going to import or install TensorFlow 2.0 first, and then we are going to import all our libraries and packages, 
And then we're going to make sure that our TensorFlow version is 2.0. And then we are going to load or import a model with pre-trained weights. So what we're going to do here, they're going to import inception net, which is simply Google's network. Please bear in mind that in Deep Dream, we are going to download a pre-trained network. So the network is already being trained and it has been trained using ImageNet um, data set. So we ran that. Here we're going to download the base model and we're going to take a look at the summary of my model as well. Here we go. That's my model. It contains a bunch of activations, bunch of convolutions and so on. And there are almost 21 million parameters in there. Here we're going to select which activation layers we are trying to look at. So we're going to take a look here at mixed three and mixed five. So let's run that. And then we are going to here simply create our deep dream model by creating a, a T, by using tf.keras.model by using our base model here along with the outputs that we have selected. And we have selected mixed three and mixed five. You can basically experiment with multiple um, with multiple layers, you can select, let's say, mixed five, mixed eight, mixed nine, and so on, to take a look at different features, diff various levels of abstractions of features. And then we're going to mount our drive, and then we are going to feed in a sample image. We call it here Starry Nights or Stereo Nights. And here we go. That's my image that I will ask basically the Deep Dream algorithm to try to create art using it, trying to. Uh, kind of, you know, show us dark faces in here and create beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pictures. Let's take a look at the shape. So that's the dimensions of my image. We're going to normalize my image and we're going to show the image again. And we're going to make sure that the image has been normalized by having the min and maximum values are between zeros and one. So first, we're going to perform some image pre-processing beforehand. That's be the first one. And then we're going to expand dimensions just to make it in a batch format. And then we're going to run our Deep Dream model and feeding in our sample image to generate my activations. And here we go. These are the outputs from my activations. Please note that here we selected only mixed three and mixed five layers. Let's take a look at the length of activations. And now I have two basically activations coming out from these two layers. And here is the bulk of the Deep Dream algorithm. First, we're going to define a function. That's what we call it calculate loss. They can be used to calculate the loss here in this case. So first, we're going to take in the model, run the model with a certain image, and then generate our activations. And then here, we are going to create a for loop that will simply create the loss for us. So we're going to create the develop or calculate the mean first of our activations, and that will be the loss. And we're going to create basically an accumulator that will hold all the losses coming out from whatever activations we selected. Because here we have two activations, you will find that here the losses will contain two outputs, basically. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to sum up simply the activations coming from both layers. So let's run that. Looks good. And now we are basically going to test the function. So we're going to test the function. So here we are being able to run the function and calculate the loss. And here I'll be able to simply get the loss in this case, which is 0.439. Please note that here we haven't ran the algorithm at all. This is just the definition of the loss function. And then we are going to perform the bulk again of my deep dream algorithm, which is to calculate the gradient ascent. So here we are going to first and just, you know, just to re like recap here, what we're going to do is that we're going to obtain the derivative of the activations or the loss with respect to the input image. You can think of it as a very simple kind of regression problem. In this regression model, y equals 2, b plus mx. And in this case, our model is already trained. So all the m and b parameters are already trained. We are not going to change it. Here, we're going to feed in our independent variable x and the model will run and will generate an output or dependent variable output y. And what we want to do simply is that we wanted to try to increase the output. That's what I want. I want to increase the activations. I want to know how can what how much should I change the input x so I can increase my y. That's all what it is. And that's exactly the same idea of my deep dream algorithm. So to do that, we are going to calculate the gradient dy with respect to dx which is a derivative of the activations with respect to my input image. That's all what it is. 
and that will give me the gradient. And then we're going to take my gradient, multiply it by the learning rate, and then add it up to my previous X, which is my previous image in this case, to come up with a new image. And that's simply because I have a plus sign here, I will be doing gradient ascent in this case. It's again, we're not going to do gradient descent. Here we're going to use gradient ascent because I want to increase the output or the activations coming out from my model. So here we're going to first calculate the gradient. And then here, that's the gradient calculations. We're going to show the gradients. And then we're going to normalize my gradients. And then I'm going to simply apply this equation by getting my image, adding it up to the gradient times the learning rate or the step size. And then we're going to clip it between minus one and one. And here we go. That's it. That's the bulk of the deep dream algorithm. And now I'm pretty much ready to simply run my algorithm for 100 times. So let's give it a shot and let's see what's going to happen. So here we are going to feed in an image, which is again our starry night image, to my run deep dream simple algorithm. So let's run it and see what's going to happen. And here we go. So that's my original image. And as you guys can see, my loss is 0 0.635 initially. And over and over again, we are going to try to increase the loss. As you guys can see, the loss now is 1.385. This is again my original image. And here is my updated image. Here we go. Again, we're going to run it one more time. It's running it within a loop. Here we go. That's my step 200 with loss 1.69. And if you go down, you will find here, as you guys can see now, where the loss becomes 1.88. And you guys can see some eyes here starts to appear, you know, which is again coming out from the previously trained features coming out from specific layers within my network. And these are mixed three and mixed five layers. Here we go. That's step 400. Loss is 2.01. Again, tons of eyes starts to appear. And here we go. An amazing AI artist trying to create the best art ever. As you guys can see here, eyes more appear here. The sun starts to appear a little bit more prominent and the loss becomes 2.19. Here we go, 2.26. You got the idea. And that's the overall all idea of the dream algorithm in just, you know, I'm trying to make it as simple as possible within only five minutes or so. So let's stop that. What I'm going to show you here is we found that we can improve the performance of the deep dream algorithm if we try to rescale the image multiple times and run it again. So this is just the idea of running the deep dream algorithm, but with different scale size. That's all what it is. So let's run that. And you will find that here the actual performance of the network and the actual images will become more seamless, will become much, much better. So here that's again my loss is 0.63. Now the loss is 1.38. And we'll leave it run for a little bit here. So that's step 200. Again, the eyes here starts to appear. All the features starts to appear. Here the loss is 1.7. Again, here the loss is 1.884. Again, here it's getting better and better. And we're going to simply create, like run the deep dream algorithm mainly for five steps. So we're going to be four loop of five steps with various sizes with what we call it octave scale. And here we go. So here, that's the, the first step. That's the second loop. As you guys can see here, it becomes a lot more smooth. As you guys can see here, it becomes much, much better. Okay, so compared to the previous one. And here we go. That's much, much better. Here are the all the beautiful dog eyes here. Again, pretty incredible. You know, like, and again, here it's much, much better. And it's getting better and better and better. Now it's the best time to be alive, and now it's the best time to master AI and machine learning. The field is exploding with opportunities and career prospects. If you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe for more videos. Enjoy AI and happy learning.